Welcome back to Minecraft with Columbus Ghost. Thank you again for joining me on another episode. In this episode we will be building a few different things, but the main focus of the episode is the throne room for the castle and the wizard's tower. So sit back and enjoy the time lapse and I'll see you when it's done.
And we're back from the time lapse. What I'm going to do is show around what I have changed. What I did was I changed the way the ground looks. With the type of texture it is, the um, mainly dirt and a darker dirt with some gravel in there and some rocks and other things like that. But at the beginning of the time lapse, you saw me build this wood workshop. I did the um, this part here. I think it turned out pretty well. The wood would be kept in here and the working area would be here. And then coming in here, this next part I did off camera. The ground I did off camera as well. Because I thought it would be too long and too boring of an episode just to show me changing out all the ground. I added in a fighting area for the uh, soldiers to practice sparring with a with swords and shields and a little waiting sitting area for them to while they're waiting or even relaxing. I added in a small wall here that would be basically a um, separator between between the stables and the barracks. The forces were coming out for some water in the trough. They wouldn't be spooked by the fighting that's going on over here or the practicing. I also added in this tree. I'm not really sure if I'm 100% happy with it, but we'll see. That might change before this project is done. And I've added this small well here. And moving up, while trying to keep it looking very realistic, the ground is never even because it's never really that um, even as the ground. There's always like wear and tear for it as well. I changed this little area here where they'd be defending down into here and added in this little small uh, greenery area here for people to sit down outside the chapel. So coming in, we have built the um, throne room hall and the mage's tower. That's where we have done this episode. Off camera, I added in this part here, which is just a small extension that basically just so then the wall doesn't look as flat like most of the other buildings. And it looks a little more ornate too. And then we can come in and we come into the um, into the throne room where the lord of the castle would sit here, the lady and advisors would sit over here. And the peasants would come in and state their cases to the lord and then leave. Well, meanwhile, the Lord up here can either go out this way to the keep, or they could come out through this way and leave. I probably will have it connected. This wall is closed off for now. It just depends how I'm going to build the next area. But it's a little sitting area for people to relax and since we're now in the Mage's Hall. And coming out here, is a little porch as well. I This is pretty much not really that defensible, mainly because it wouldn't need to be. An army wouldn't be able to come through here and even attack this area. Not, and they're not really, it wouldn't be feasible. So even if they people did make it over here, I should still could from up here shoot down from them. And I added this part in to you, just to give it a little bit of a difference, and to make it a little more, like, expensive and regal. The stonework is a little more intricate and expensive. And as you can tell, the floor here is also expensive, like, more ornate here and in here. 
So coming on into the next room, we're actually in the tower. This is one way out if you don't want to go out through the um, throne room. But down in the little alleyway down here, I might add in some like greenery here. But there's a small side door here. Come in, this is also a sitting waiting area for the mage. A suit of arms here. And some sort of uh, closet here. As well as a... Um, Like a trophy room, the idea for this. With the sitting area here. So we'll go downstairs first. And down here is just a storage area for the tower. And some other storage. Mainly stuff that would be down here is mainly stuff that doesn't really matter if it gets wet since it's just the lower part of the tower and as well as a bathroom area down here which leads out of course down into the water so we'll head up to the second floor And on the second floor, we have the library here, which is the first um, room you come into in the tower. This is the Lord's Library and the Mage's Library. The Lord can come up here and read some books, while the Mage keeps a lot of his spells and incantations in here and records in here as well. I also found this really good painting that looks like a chart of some sort, like a, maybe even a calendar. Since it does look like there's supposed to be like 12 months or maybe even some sort of chart. And then coming up to here we have the mage's bedroom. Which is a pretty nice looking room I believe. It has the same ceiling that's in the um, throne room, as well as a more ornate bed, and a more expensive, exquisite looking wardrobe. And making our way to the top of the tower, it's not really for guards, it's more of a uh, mage's workshop where the potions and everything would be a work using herbs and stuff and record keeping of herbs and different medicinal properties there are for them. So this is the top of the tower here. So there isn't really much else to really show around that I've done for this episode besides really the throne room which took the longest seeing on how ornate it all is and how like regal it looks as a peasant walking and asking for more money or more seeds for grain or maybe even having asking the Lord not to take away so much grain from the harvest or whatever you walk in here and you get a sense of awe and wonder of the coffers that this Lord has so once again I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did leave a like if you haven't subscribed subscribe for more episodes and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.